Hello and welcome to a video from filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. I'm Chris the K. Today we're going to be looking at web scraping, uh, the Bitcoin value. I say web scraping because this is actually the second video I'm recording. I recorded just recorded a video that ended up being almost 20 minutes long that was called Web Scraping for Beginners. And by the end of the video, I realized I kind of overcomplicated stuff for someone who's completely new to this sort of thing. If you're used to the shell uh, and using basic commands like grep and sed and stuff like that and head and tail, uh, it probably wasn't that complicated, but I realized I shouldn't have called it that. And I should probably do some videos before that. So we're actually going to pull down the value of Bitcoin in U.S. dollars. Uh, but we're going to be using an API, which isn't really web scraping, because web scraping is kind of pulling down a page and then picking it apart, where an API is something that uh, is there for you to do that. It isn't really scraping. But I figured this would be a good place to start, because this is very, very simple. First of all, let me just come to my shell, and I'm going to type in Bitcoin, right? And it shows me the value of Bitcoin in green letters. If I was to run that command again, it's going to give me the same number, but in red. Why is that? Well, I'm pulling it down from a website that allows you to pull it down using their API, but you're only allowed to pull down so many times in a minute. And if I run the command a couple times in a row, it's going to block me for a couple of minutes. So my script, if I was to vim user local bin Bitcoin, this is my script. It isn't too long, but a lot of this is just formatting and coloring and checking the last time I checked. And if it's less than 60 seconds, my script will just show the last time that we logged, but in red so you know it's not the most current that it may have changed in the last 60 seconds. We're not going to get into that too much, but right now let's just look at this URL right here. We are going to use a tool called wget. wget is one of the two main commands you're going to use for pulling things from the internet. It's either going to be wget or curl. I guess, theoretically, people argue curl might be a little more advanced. Curl definitely has some good libraries if you're programming in other languages that you can use the libraries. Curl is also very nice because, as we'll see in future videos, that your web browser will actually give you curl commands with all your cookies and everything you need built in. And it's a good way to learn how to do more advanced things. But I like using wget a lot for the main reason that if I'm on a very lightweight system, like a router, a modem, or some other IoT thing I've hacked, there's a good chance that BusyBox is on there and it's got wget built in. If not, it's easy to get uh, BusyBox with wget on there. But wget, and you give it a URL, like the one we just copied, and what it's going to do is it's going to download that and put it in a file, which is a great idea if you're going to be picking apart something larger instead of hitting the website multiple times, because like in this case, they'll block me if I try to grab it 10 times in a minute, right? So, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dump it to the screen. First of all, I'm going to say dash Q for quiet, otherwise it will give me download progress and a few other things that I don't care for seeing for this. Might be helpful if things aren't working. We could say capital O, that's the letter O, and give it a file name, file dot whatever, and it will put it in that file. But again, I just want to see the output on the screen. When I do that, I'll just do a dash. So it says, go to this web page, in this case, the API, and give me what inf information that server returns. And it gives me that right here. It's just some very, very basic JSON. Now, I could use a program called JQ, which I've gone over a lot in the past, and we'll talk more in this web scraping series in the future, but this one is so simple that we literally could just use cut, right? So cut is a command that will allow you to cut at certain lines in the text. So I can say cut dash D for delimiter backslash, and I'll say that colon. So it's saying, take that string, cut it up by that. Which one do I want? Uh, let me go back up here. So I want actually one, two, three, the third one. So I'm going to say dash field three. So again, if I come up here, so we have one, two semicolons in the text. So this would be field one, this would be field two, and this would be field three. So if I was to run this command, it's going to give me everything between the third and fourth, or actually the second and third semicolon. There's only two, so it's going to give me everything to the end of the line like that. So we have this, which is the value of Bitcoin, 91,146. Uh, but then at this point, I can use the cut command again, or TR. I'll just use TR just to use a different command. TR allows you to replace single characters with other characters or delete single characters. So I'm going to say TR dash D for delete. And I'm going to say in quotations that curly brace. And we'll delete all curly braces. So there we go. I have the current value of Bitcoin. It's not greatly formatted. My script does a little bit more. So like, again, if I was to run uh, Bitcoin, 
like so. My script actually puts dollar sign and a comma in there. I've done scripts on that, or videos on how to do that in the past. I don't know why I had so trouble getting so trouble getting that sentence out. Such trouble getting that sentence out. Um, but that isn't the focus of this video right now. Right now, we just wanted to get that value. And again, there's tools. A JQ is a great one for splitting apart uh, JSON output. But this was such a simple output that we were just able to use those core tools. So I wanted to start with that. And again, my web scraping for beginners video was a lot more complicated than this. Uh, so I want to start with something simpler. I'll put a you know in the description of this video this uh, command or a link to this command so that you can see it. Actually, I'll put a link to my whole Bitcoin script uh, so you can see that and pull that apart. But this is the basic command that you need just to get that information. So filmsbychris.com, that's just Chris with a K. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day.